Hey, what's up? Uh, my name's PK. Uh, I'm a writer, a actor, and a bartender. Uh, and no, I'm not a vampire. This is just the glorious complexion you get after 10 years in the service industry. Uh, my story takes place about seven years ago at a theater in downtown Toronto, uh, where I went to open the doors to one of our theaters uh, at the end of a show. And this dude comes running out and about three steps out the door, stops, and proceeds to vomit 270 degrees around a four-foot alcove. Now, for those of you that aren't mathematicians, that basically means down one wall, across the floor, and up the other wall where there was base heaters, electrical sockets, light switches, and a windowsill. So I run and grab a mop, I shuffle as much as I can of this, what can only be described as the remnants of a dumpster behind a restaurant in Chinatown, to one side of the hallway as I usher the other 149 people out of the room. Uh, as they all finish exiting, I finish cleaning up everything and I take the mop bucket to the bathroom in order to dump the puke water into a toilet. However, when I get into the bathroom, I discover this absolutely horrible smell. Uh, so upon further investigation, I discover that in the middle stall of the men's washroom, there was a pair of underwear sitting on the back of the toilet, filled with feces. So I grab a garbage bag, I uh, throw the underwear and everything else into the garbage bag, uh, as well as all the leftover paper towel from cleaning up the puke prior to that. I then carry this garbage bag filled with toxic waste down three flights of stairs to our dumpster out back. Upon returning to the bar, my manager approaches me and says, PK, where were you? What happened? Uh, you know, you've been missing. And, uh, and I turn to him and I tell him the story. I give him all the gory details. And he looks at me with these sympathetic eyes and says, Oh man, that, that sucks. I, poor guy. And I say really quickly, I'm like, Oh, I know, I know. You know, it's really cool you're taking my side on this. You know, I really appreciate you feeling my pain. And he then quickly follows it up by saying, Oh no, not you. The guy who vomited. And then he walks away. And it was at that exact moment that I knew somewhere my mom was so proud of me. So proud. Thank you.